Good morning, friends, family. Well, it's I say morning, but it's really uh, Friday at uh, 1.15 Eastern Standard Time, so it's afternoon, but I've been, I just got up about an hour ago or so, and um, I really just wanted, I'm, I have free Wi-Fi, so I want to take advantage of that right now. I wanted to talk for a minute about safety. Um, I know probably some of you are like, you know, it bores you. Some of you understand, I know, from the discussions we've had, but I want you all to really pay attention to this because this could save your life or the life of somebody around you, okay? Take just a minute to think about this. First of all, my friend D-Dog, hey D-Dog, uh, she sent me an article that was uh, quoting a trucker from of 25 years who said, don't ever ride next to a trucker down the road because what I got out of it was that if there's a blowout, uh, it could possibly blow your car off the road. Uh, if something happens and the driver swerves, you're screwed. Okay? Um, those are the things that I got out of it. I know from my own personal experience, which is very limited, I know, but still, um, things happen and, you know, we don't have the same visibility that you do. We are sitting higher so we can see further out, but that means when things are close to us, it's harder for us to see. I personally have um, an issue with people on my passenger side. When you're in that passenger side and you are like next to the actual truck or close up to the front of the trailer, I can't see you unless I lean over and look in my mirror like this, okay? Sometimes I use the hood mirror and I can see, but the, again, that depends on where you are on the passenger side of the car. I, I've seen on a, the back of a couple of truckers, trailers, and I think it's true. If you're facing the back of the truck, it'll, it'll point to the left and it'll say passing side. And then it'll point to the right and it'll say suicide. And that's true. Like, if you want to pass a trucker, do it on the side where he's driving, he or she's driving, because that's where he or she can see you. I cannot see you over there on that side. Don't pass over there. That's why truckers, for the most part, stay in the right-hand lane. If we have to get over, it's really because we have to. Uh, we don't. I don't do it really very much at all. Um, I stay in the right-hand lane as much as possible. But if I have to move over and somebody gets over there, it makes me uncomfortable. It's very unsafe. I do think... Um, it, another thing is don't cut truckers off okay I when I am fully loaded uh, which means that I'm carrying close to 80,000 pounds and I get on the interstate it can take me about it can take me up to five minutes to accelerate up to speed which uh, speed would be 68 miles an hour because I you know if it's 70 um, we're governed at 68. So from, you know, from zero to, to 68, five minutes. Maybe, I mean, maybe less. You might be looking at a minute or two. But the point is, if it takes that long, sorry, I'm experimenting with a different uh, place for my camera holder because I want you guys to be able to see out uh, if I turn the camera around. Um, What was I saying? Oh, when it takes you that long to accelerate because you're that heavy, it can take you much longer, not longer than that, but it can take you longer than normal, than a normal car to stop. So if we're driving along, if I'm driving along and it's 65 and you're over here on, and you, all of a sudden you need to exit and you decide to cut in front of me, I can't stop on a dime. It's going to take me about 
I guesstimated it at 12 car lengths to stop, but I, I think I may be underestimating it. Um, it. It takes me a very, very long time. If you really pay attention to the, to the following distance that truckers leave in front of them, that'll give you a better idea. It, it really should be like, it's feet. It's definitely feet, four or 500 feet. So, um, but you, I can't stop. I can't stop as quickly as you can. So if something happens and you're in front of me, right in front of me, and you step on your brakes, you're going to be mince me. If you live through it, you'll have to relearn how to do things. Or you might be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. So don't do it. Don't cut truckers off. Please. Please. I, ask, I say this not because of a trucker. I'm saying because of you. You guys don't know that you're taking your life in your hands when you cut off a trucker. I'm trying to control a big old barge and you have a little a little jet ski. So give the barge some room. Don't don't tailgate. There was an accident just uh, a few weeks ago in um, in uh, Tennessee on I-40. Some kid was texting, ran right up on a trucker. I, I think he lived, but, I mean, you know, you know who was probably injured in that one? The kid texting. Um, the trucker, you know, probably just felt the bump. I'm, I'm kind of not going where I wanted to with this, but I... You know, there is, I guess I just, I want, I care about all of y'all, and I want y'all to be safe, and I want you to understand. Me and my friend Ashley were talking on the phone yesterday. People don't understand that the fast lane, you shouldn't be dawdling. In the, if you're going to be in the fast lane, get in it and get out. Stay to the right as much as possible. Uh, if you have to go around or near a truck, do it quickly, as much as possible, because you are taking your life in your hands. Any um, number of things could happen, and we are trained. I will tell you, my personal company, Total Transportation, we train. They train us that we want. They want us to treat the car right there like it's our family. Okay, so. I don't speak. I signal. I mean, of course, a lot of this is required by the company, but I would do all this stuff anyways. Like, signal, slow down, allow people to get in unless they can't read the signs. But we'll talk about that one later. Be safe. I mean, if you don't know about how long it takes a truck to stop, a fully loaded, you know, uh, tractor trailer, research it. I'm telling you, it's out there. We, we need about four times as much as a car needs. And a car would, would takes about two car lengths. So if we need, you know, four truck lengths, figure that one out. Because we're carrying way more. So I can't stop. I can't stop as quickly as you can. I can slow it down immensely and try to minimize the damage. But that's part of why trucks are held to, you know, a different speed limit sometimes. We have to go slower. And I get that, and I respect that. But one of my pet peeves is people around me. And I get in the big cities of Florida was was the worst. People will cut you off, and they, Lynn, when when you put on your turn signal to get in, they're like, nope, sorry, see ya, bye. No, and I could, you know, I mean, I have a truck, I could just nose my way in, but. You know, I try, I, again, I've been cut off by a truck <laughs> in a car. It's not a pretty feeling. It makes you feel unseen. So, I want somebody who will let me in, you know. Um, 
So do that. If you see a trucker with their blinker on, let them in. Uh, does it take us longer to accelerate? Or do we go slower? Are we a pain in the ass? Yes. But I want you to think about this. And then I'm going to stop. What's your one favorite thing in life? Actually, think of it. I'm going to tell you mine is coffee. Well, I have, I'd have to say right now it's coffee. But there's lots of different favorite things. Think of your f top five favorite things. Okay. Truckers carry that in their trucks. Whatever it is. I don't care what you said. Unless you said a child, which actually some truckers do carry humans. Uh, but that's illegal. And I'm not doing that. Okay. Uh, but if you said teddy bears, if you said food of any kind, if you said any electronics, uh, if you said dirt, I have seen truckers carrying dirt, uh, food, I've seen Amazon orders, I've seen FedEx orders, uh, anything, you know, groceries, uh, trying to think of what else I've carried. Right now it's not coming to me. Truckers carry that to the store where you buy it from. So I think we should be respected a little more by you guys, by by the general driving public. I shouldn't appoint to you guys because I know most of you guys are safe, but I think we need to be a little more respected. People cut us off and they view us as an annoyance, but you know what? If there weren't no more truckers, you wouldn't have any of your favorite shit anymore. Um, so be respectful. Drive safe. Try to avoid being too close to a trucker from any side. Uh, and let them in. And be a little patient with them. Because they are doing, believe it or not, people think this is an easy job. And I suppose physically it's fairly easy, but there's a lot of other things that have to be done that are stressful, and I've been running into that this last week. You'll see that in another update. Um, so just, you guys, try to be safe, please, because I love all of y'all, and I want to pass it on, and I want you know, I'd really like for this to be a little bit of a better world for everybody to drive in. So, but I love y'all and uh, I'm going to go now. Mother trucker out. Bye.